Ghana's president, Dr. Irfan Ali, has joined several of his Caribbean counterparts in Trinidad and Tobago for the second Agri-Investment Forum and Expo. As you might recall, the first Agri-Investment Forum and Expo was held right here in Guyana in May. And this forms part of the regional plan to boost food security efforts in the Caribbean so that countries aren't affected by surging food prices and food shortages. Now, the, at the opening ceremony of the Agri Forum in Trinidad and Tobago on Friday, President Ali was keen on pointing out that while the political will exists among Caribbean leaders to advance this regional food security plan, the private sector perhaps is lacking. According to him, the private sector has to do much more to capitalize on the very many opportunities that have presented themselves so that the private sector players can get involved in investment opportunities to boost agri-food production in the Caribbean. The president said that if this is not done, perhaps the region's leaders may have to seek investors from abroad, that is, outside of the Caribbean region. We cannot sit back in the private sector and expect that the government must create the environment all the time. The government is an enabler. It's an enabler. It's an enabler to open up the opportunity. We have to stop work in a selfish way in the region at every level. And the private sector needs to come together, understand the scale of opportunity, scale their thinking up, and go after the opportunity and put the pressure back on the heads in the region to say, we are ready, come on board, and let us together form a partnership to solve this problem. President Ali was not the only Caribbean leader who lamented that private sector players in the region need to do more. In fact, Trinidadian Prime Minister Dr. Keith Rowley said that some importers and distributors in the region seem a bit comfortable with the status quo. That is, just importing and distributing food that comes from outside of the region. And he believes that if the Caribbean community's food security plan is to be successful, those importers and distributors and the private sector generally must buy into this food security plan. If we do not aim to replace the imported supply with local supply, then we are condemning ourselves to the vagaries of the ups and downs of the international market, and we will not be able to look after ourselves. And that is why today I join my colleagues who spoke before and appeal to the private sector not to be resistant to these developments and these initiatives. Other Caribbean leaders agreed that while the political will exists among the leaders, private sector has to do much more. Now, adding another dimension to the conversation and the discussions that happened at that Agri Forum in Trinidad and Tobago on Friday was the chairman of the CARICOM private sector organization, Mr. Gervais Warner. According to him, a massive 1.2 billion US dollars market exists for private sector players in the Caribbean community to tap into and invest in advancing food security efforts. These range from warehousing, distributing, and just simply expanding food production efforts by growing more and trading more. He spoke also at the opening ceremony. We have to find a way to connect these uh, vehicles to consumers back to the growers, back to the business plans that we're creating around the things that we want to produce. We have to get commitment to substitute stuff that they've been sourcing externally for CARICOM produced products. We have to understand what they need and you know, process the product to that requirement at the right cost to get them to be on board. This forum, as I mentioned before, is part of a wider food plan that is being led by Guyana. Now, what Guyana has proposed to Caribbean leaders is that if the region, if countries of the region grow more food and trade more among themselves, the region will be able to protect itself from food shortages, rising food prices, and overall cut the massive import bill every year. Reporting for the newsroom, I am... Fishani Ragabir.